Darnell with Deep Grill here. Got myself some salmon, about 2.44 pounds of salmon. And I'm gonna be cooking this with cedar planks on my Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. That'll be cedar plank salmon, salmon on uh, cedar planks. That's gonna be pretty good. So, gonna get started with that. And for this cook of salmon on cedar planks, I'm going to do a brine the night before. Um, this is the day before. I'm just going to make my brine up and then um, after it cools down good, put it on my salmon tonight and let it brine, let the salmon brine overnight. But here are the ingredients for the brine. It's uh, six cups of warm water, one cup of brown sugar, three quarter cup of kosher, kosher salt, sorry, but kosher, blah. Can't get that out right today. Kosher salt. <laughs> there it is. And a tablespoon of brown sugar. So basically I'm just going to take the brown sugar, kosher salt, and cinnamon. Get them all mixed into the warm water. Just whisk it around. Mix it up real good so it's well mixed. And then I'll pour it over the salmon later um, this evening and let it brine overnight. So I'll bring you back later. Okay, got my brine ready and uh, got my salmon in there so I'm just gonna pour my brine mixture in over the salmon so we can cook this tomorrow on the cedar plank on the Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill and I knew six cups would be just enough water to fit into this pan so going to put this in the refrigerator let it uh, set overnight to about 12 hours and then uh, tomorrow I'll just uh, clean it off and just let it set in the refrigerator for about maybe four hours to kind of you know the meat has to do kind of that change so that it's nice and shiny before cooking it on the grill so I'll bring you on back tomorrow okay so here we are at the following day I've taken the salmon out of the brine, I've rinsed it off best I could, wiped it down dry with uh, paper towels. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator now, going to give it about four hours to set and that uh, skin, well not the skin, but the top side here will get that nice shiny glisten. There's not any skin on the bottom side either, but I'm going to bring it back uh, later after this has uh, I've been sitting in the fridge for about four hours and got that shiny coat on the top of it. All right, so those cedar planks are near the end of their soaking. The fish, the salmon is in there, almost uh, done setting for about four hours. So I'm going to go ahead and get the grill started up. I've got the iGrill 3 ambient probe up here. I'll have an iGrill 3 meat probe in the fish while it's cooking on the cedar planks. I'm just going to go ahead and start things up. I'm low on propane, but I ain't that low. It just started. Alright, so as I mentioned, I am low on propane, so if it does run out during the cook, I will uh, throw on my uh, spare real quick. I'll uh, mention for those following on Patreon, you've already been seeing the pictures from this in real time. Uh, for the rest, you see it uh, in the video, but consider signing up for Patreon because once I reach a $75 subscriber goal, I'll get the Green Mountain Grills pizza attachment for those who want to see some pizza cooks on there. Um, but let me give you the weather report real quick. The current temperature is 77 degrees, real feel is 82 degrees, partly sunny, humidity 33%, wind speed is 9 miles per hour. So uh, it's a nice partly sunny day and I'm going to go ahead and get that salmon on in a moment once things are warmed up and I get the temp down to about 350 after I get it warmed up. Just wanted to capture something while um, I was uh, bringing a temp down from the warm up. The iGrill 3 ambient probe is now reading temperatures 
up to 572 degrees. I um, had the temp, you know, all burners on high, and the temperature went up to uh, like 572 on the ambient probe, and it showed it actually in the iGrow app. I didn't get to capture it on my screen in time and, you know, get my recorder going in time. Now the temperature's starting to go down because I'm trying to get it down at 350. But I did want to make everyone aware the iGrill 3 app is now able to read the ambient probe all the way up to 572, which is great news. So I've taken that middle burner off and I'm using that indirect heat for the two outside burners trying to bring the temp down to 350. Once it's there, I'll put the cedar planks in the salmon on. All right, so you probably can see the shiny sheen on the salmon, so that's when you know it's ready to uh, be cooked on the grill. So, just going to get my cedar planks in place. Sorry about the aircraft overhead causing some excess noise. All right, I'll get my cedar planks on and get my salmon on it. I need two cedar planks to hold the whole fish. I'm going to put it on kind of to the side. My ambient probe's beeping because I have it set in case my temp gets too low and I run out of propane. So that looks picture perfect right there. So I'm going to get that closed up and bring you back after it's done. Actually, I need to get my meat probe in there. I'll bring you on back uh, when this is ready to bring it off. So an interesting thing happened. Uh, apparently, I'm going to turn my eye grill off. But uh, what happened is that the eye grill 3 did not send me a message that my food was at its desired temperature. I wanted to cook my salmon to 145 because I like to cook it a little on the hotter end. But it did give me a notification that I had reached uh, below my range for my ambient probe so basically I ran out of propane but not before the fish was overdone and it didn't tell me that it was slightly overdone so just going to open up and have a look at it now all right that looks pretty good it looks pretty nice so I'm basically going to get that inside and we'll have a look at it inside all right, the finished product of today's cook. Gonna get a uh, piece off of here. Gonna try and spatula it off the cedar plank. The fish is real flaky, so you gotta basically take the planks off what the fish is best. But that's our finished product there. I'll get the camera adjusted for our taste test. All right, here's our salmon for our taste test, cedar plank from our Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. Let me get me a nice big piece here. Before I uh, taste test this, I'll mention, uh, be sure to, if you can, support on Patreon because the more supporters I get, the more resources I can bring in to continue bringing more cooks with more various things you enjoy. It's pretty good. Taste the cedar, you know, that was planked underneath some. I will say I still prefer just the straight smoked salmon, you know, using the, I, I feel personally, if you use your uh, Genesis 2, with the smoker box, you'll get a more smoky, uh, more robust flavor overall than cedar plank. I wanted to try to see the plank, cedar plank thing, but I will say you're doing better in my opinion. Use the smoker box and smoke it that way, or you know, if you're using a smoker, of course, 
you get a more robust flavor even than cedar plank. Although cedar plank is good and you know anybody that has it would say hey it tastes great it's excellent but just comparing the two. So I definitely hope that you like this video you may want to still try it yourself it's definitely a good tasting salmon no doubt you don't have to worry about things like the smoker box making your grill too hot and having to run it in and out flip, you know changing the temperature the Genesis 2 holds that temperature steady I mean perfectly steady once you get it set right and so you know as long as you have no smoker box going on there's no excess heat that messes up and causes heat fluctuation so that's one big plus to using cedar plank instead of the smoker box something to consider but as I mentioned you know definitely support on patreon uh, also I want to point out again that I'm on Twitter at dgrillsmoke also the website dgrillsmoke.com that's dgrillsmoke.com also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel please and good eating I just wanted to take this moment to give a special thank you to those who are our gold level patreon supporters that are contributing 25 or more a month to this channel's success they get a special shout out here and so here are our gold level Patreon supporters.